Damas y caballeros, hola y bienvenido a otro episodio emocionante de Tiempo de Corpata con Ryan. Soy Ryan. Damn it. Thai Nation, I apologize. We're simulcasting in Ecuador this week and the damn SAP buttons keeps getting stuck. The audio feeds are all screwed up, so my apologies. Thai Nation, welcome back to another episode of Thai Time. As always, we're delivering the episode with 90% nonsense. 10% de corbata. Damn it. You kidding me? You kidding me right now? Por qué? Por qué? Why? Why? Why do I even try? Technical difficulties aside, we're going to power through the episode. Today we're featuring the Krasny Hourglass Knot. So the Krasny Hourglass was developed by a man named Alex Krasny, who has his own YouTube channel, which talks about ties and uh, accoutrement and video games and playing video games and a whole assortment of random stuff. But part of that is ties, and he makes his own tie knots. The Krasny Hourglass is what we're featuring today. It starts with the foreign hand knot up top, and then the bottom part actually gets wrapped around, and you have this nice hourglass shape. So as I was assembling the knot for the episode today, it got me thinking about hourglasses. No, not these kind of glasses. Or these. Or these. Or these. Or even these. But these. Which then obviously got me thinking about the origins of the hourglass, which I come to find out the origins are actually unknown. But its predecessor, the Clepsydra, which literally translates from Greek to water thief. Don't worry, we're not talking about thieves or theft or thievery or thespians. We're talking about hourglasses still. But the Clepsydra, which actually was a water clock, is, is dated back all the way to the 16th century BC with evidence in Babylon and Egypt. And some authors even claim that they've discovered evidence of water clocks in China as far back as 4000 BC. The clepsydra or water clock is actually a very interesting way to tell time. What you do is you have a, a pre-made pot with certain designations and markings on the inside and a hole in the bottom. You fill it with water. It drains out consistently and then you can mark the passage of time. Very interesting. You should look it up when you get a chance. Ranking time. So where does the Krasny Hourglass stack up on our list? Well, the list is getting pretty full, and it's got a lot of great contenders on there, so let's see how it stacks up. So if I'm being honest with you, Thai Nation, I always try to be honest with you as best I can. I don't like this knot. I just don't like it at all. It starts with the foreign hand, and I am not a fan of the foreign hand because, to me, for whatever reason, it always looks really crooked. Uh, I can't figure out how to make a foreign hand not look good. And then after that, you just tie around the, the small part on the bottom. I just I just don't appreciate this knot. It took me a hell of a long time to even get it to look like this. I don't think I'd ever wear it. It's going to drop pretty far down our list. It's going to settle in right above the Lidwin Taurus at number eight on our list. Well, that's all the time we have today. En el tiempo de corbata, gracias por pasar. Te quieres elegante. Seriously? We can't even fix it for the ending? Are you kidding me? I'm done. Done. Just done. Thai Nation, as always, if you like the episode, go ahead and gently tap that like button. And if you want to get crazy with it, go ahead and hit subscribe. I'm always interested to hear your comments and thoughts on the show. Go ahead and put that all in the comment section below. You stay classy. She, she, shows, she, shows. I got this thing right there. Sound guy just f***ing things up today, huh? Huh? Really? Really? Get me all hourglassed up.